Okay, so uh, today we're going to demonstrate the cocking process for your Excalibur Assassin crossbow. Okay, um, so your, your crank now is in release, so that allows the trigger mechanism to slide down. So the first thing we need to do is get the trigger off of the full draw latch. So this is your full draw latch lever, so we need to depress that and push the trigger forward. If you can see inside here, this lever is attached to two hooks. So these two hooks grab on to the sliding trigger mechanism when it gets to full draw. So think of that as a safety feature. So if you're sitting in your tree stand for four hours, the weight of this bow is being held by these metal hooks. And then at the end, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna take the pressure off the crank rope. So all the pressure then is on those hooks. So think of that as a safety feature, okay? So now we're just gonna push your trigger down, make sure your safety, your blue safety knobs are forward in the fire position. You're just gonna push it down till you hear that nice loud audible click. That's the trigger catch grabbing the string. Next you wanna do is put it into safe. Okay, and then you're gonna put your crank handle on. Don't forget your fail safe strap. Okay, now we're gonna put the crank into the crank position, okay? That makes it a one-way bearing, so if you were to slip out of your hand, it, it won't come around and wrap your knuckles. Okay, so as we're drawing, once you get close to the top, you wanna listen for the click, and at the same time, you're gonna watch this little lever. It's gonna move forward and move back and click at the same time. Okay, so that tells you those two hooks we talked about have now got the trigger mechanism, so that's good. So the next thing we need to do is we wanna relieve the pressure off of the crank rope. So the way to do that Okay, we want to put our, our crank into the release position, so we're going to apply a little bit more pressure. As a right-handed shooter, I'm going to apply pressure with my right hand in a clockwise direction. At the same time, I'm pressing that lever, because right now I can't press it without putting pressure here. So a little bit of pressure, and there it goes. Okay, what that has done is it's taken the pressure off that crank rope, okay? So think of that crank rope as the weakest link of your bow. You want to take very careful, uh, be very careful with that. Okay, it's always on your mind is, you know, taking the pressure off of that. Okay, so um, one problem we see people having is at this point, they haven't shot their arrow and they want to decock the bow. Well, what happens if you over crank the bow? Like we did it, we stopped cranking as soon as it got to the top. If you over crank the bow, okay, now you've created a lot more extra tension in there. So the only way that you can now get that uncocked, first thing you need to do is get it into the release position. So again, apply a little bit of pressure in a clockwise direction while pushing on the release. Okay, so now my crank is in the release position so we can go backwards. The second thing we need to do is um, get your, your trigger mechanism off the full draw latch. So we need to apply the exact same thing. I'm gonna apply pressure with my right hand in a clockwise direction while pressing on this until it goes forward. Now I can decock the bow. I always remember to have your safety strap on, your fail safe strap when you're decocking. In case that handle slips out, it won't hurt you.